Hey, hi, how's it going? It's me, Fishile. I hope you're ready to learn something because by the end of this video, you are going to learn a net positive experience for your streaming career and you have no excuse not to use the service after this video is over, alright? So, with that said, I'm going to teach you what the fuck stream loot is. Alright, so now that we're here, you can use this with Twitch, you can use this with YouTube, and people more often than not stream on those services anyway. So that's step number one. And if you go to a particular person's creator page, as per example on mine right now, if you scroll down, you see a bunch of shit, right? We're not going to worry about this for now. We're going to discuss collections, card packs, gifts, coupons. We're going to discuss revenue. We're going to discuss the activity feed. And we're going to discuss the many, many benefits that come just by using the servers. But I will say this right now. Just by using the service alone, you, as the streamer, as the content creator, get an 80-20 split in your favor of whatever revenue you make. Just by using the service. And if you become partner, you get an even better cut, which we will, again, discuss later. So, scrolling down, uh, it will show you the collections page. The most prominent card pack which would be the first icon followed by whatever others you have enabled at the moment. The scrolling down these, this is what an average user would see when they visit your page. And I have my cards set to play by most recently created to show up first. And so they will also say new and they can be a different rarity. So you have a uh, common, you have epic, you have legendary. The colors are associated with the R, so blue is rare, etc, etc. Scrolling down, you can see everything in the given person's creator pack. And redemption of these things is as simple as if you have a card or a set amount of cards, you would click the card that you have and you would hit the use button. Now, because I am the creator and the owner of this card pack, I can't use my own cards against myself. However, if I go over here to cards and packs I go over here to test card I can then hit play card button and then this will happen so that happens because I was played had my own little sound effect with it and whatever the card says you have to do so this one for example if I were streaming and someone plays this card I'd have to switch off the model I'm using right now this was my PNG. Same thing for this one. If I was playing a game that involved well, any form of movement, rather, I can only go straight ahead. No left, no right, only straight, only up. Now, from here, you click Add Card. You can hit Create Your Own Card, or you can go over Streamlit's Originals. We're going to discuss this at another moment in time, but for now, we're going to go here. So these are card packs and things that other people make to upload to the web service. And if you would rather not go through the trials and tribulations of setting up your own cards, instead you can use these. Now we're gonna to go to the IRL one. You can see everything that comes with this card set. Now, if I were an IRL streamer and someone played any one of these, I have to do it. However, it's not as simple as going to the collection itself and then clicking card to you. do have to talk with the add function to add that to uh, your creator account and then have those cards be able to be used because I'm not an IRL streamer. I'm not going to worry about this. But if I were and I didn't want to set up my own cards, I could use these. Now we're going to do add card. Now we're going to hit create a card this is where the fun kicks in so you can add your own image you can title it you can make a description you can set the card to be normal card fragmented card or limited card fragmented cards are as simple as you need multiple copies of this one card to be able to use the card limited card quite literally means there will only be like five or six of these cards and once they're all used that's it it'd be up to the streamer or the creator of said card to restock that card for other people to use. 
you can set a cooldown. It automates at 20 seconds, but you can change to minutes, hours, days, if you so choose to. You can set up to have a timer pop up on screen with said card, the time for that. Now this one is pretty important. If you set whatever card you're going to make to only be obtainable in paid packs, meaning if I were to make a card right now that said, eat some chips, and it was only able to be acquired through buying cards. If someone were to be gifted cards or they use a free card redeem, they will not be able to acquire the eat chips card. If it's a free pack, you enable this, the only way they can get it is by paying money, which we'll get to in a little bit. You can set additional instructions. You can set this by opening up card packs, which is as simple as buying card packs. Now this, this is also a pretty neat feature. Every card that is made can also be destroyed. Destroying cards get you diamonds. By spending diamonds, you can use those to go to the crafting menu as a viewer. Do that. If I were to set this to 800 diamonds, if a person has 800 diamonds, they can get an eat chips card for free. If the craft table has been enabled for that card, you can set up an on screen alert, which I do for all my cards, just so if I don't see it out the side of my eye off my phone or whatever i can just look over to my left and i see it pop up on that screen over there you can also set your own alert sounds uh i have I think about seven or eight different alert sounds for when people play cards but the most prominent one is the draw monster card from when yugi was doing well not yugi when atem was doing against weevil and the waking of the dragons art in Yu-Gi-Oh. we'll talk about that some other time you said default duration. You can also text to speech. I don't recommend um, text to speech just because someone somewhere will try to abuse that, will try to get you in some form of trouble, and I personally wouldn't use it just because I know the kind of crazy uh, people on the internet can be. You can also quest for additional information. At the redemption, you can configure the card order if you want. And there's other integrations that are available, such as a chatbot, voice mod, voice mod, voice mod, voice mod. Oh, Jesus. You can set things to happen to OBS. So if, for example, you were to set this card up and have it so that it would super zoom in when someone plays the eat chip card, that would happen. You can also add, um, Things to a marathon which from my understanding because i haven't done one yet uh it's not all that similar to a subathon or donothon etc etc now after you configure all of these things the card will not be usable unless you hit the publish button once the card has been published anyone that uses your card pack can gain access to the published cards and use them whenever they please now obviously it would be in the viewer's best interest to use the card when you're live as compared to using when you're offline and potentially nowhere near your setup or anything like that but that's designing cards in a nutshell now personally my particular favorite card is when someone plays any version of the Virgil cards that I have set up or the Armstrong card because I love Metal Gear Rising if you if you know me and you've seen my content you would know that I really 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 like Metal Gear Rising which is why one of the first cards that I set up when I was using the service was a card that makes me have to fight Armstrong at any given moment. Whatever game I'm playing, I have to close that game, open Metal Gear Rising, fight Armstrong on the viewer chosen difficulty, and then move on. And when the card gets played, this happens. Simple. Simple as that. So now, now we're going to move on to the 
monetary aspect of it. You can, as the streamer, set your own prices to what you want to have people pay to acquire your card. You can also set the number of cards that can be acquired when a viewer purchases a card pack. I have mine set to three because I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I used to collect Pokemon cards. I always found joy in getting multiples of insert card here because I never played the shit competitively or any level of serious. I just liked having the cards, right? I never enjoyed getting the single cards or the like two cards that weren't any level of appealing or whatnot. Anyway, moving on, you can set it to be three, two, or one. You can also set the image of what the chest will be. Now, because black, red, and gold are some of my favorite colors, that's what I have mine set to. However, scrolling down, you will get a lot of other different treasure chests that are available to you. Now, I'm only a Stream Loot affiliate, so I don't have access to the partner card chests, but the more you use the service, the more you advertise the service, the more other people use your cards against you, the more you have access to. Now, for the single chest, I have mine, personally, set to a dollar. One dollar, three cards, easy, boom, bam, move on. For the 15 cards, which, again, I have mine set to three. So, someone buying 15 chests, they get 45 cards. I have that set to $12. For my 35, which, again, three cards per pack, 35, but that's 105 cards. At the moment, I only have 56 cards, so you are guaranteed to get a lot of duplicates and whatnot. But, I have that set to $24.50, round up $25, whatever, whatever. You can customize the, the pack image that shows up. You can add the message. You can set your sounds for those as well. Simple, easy. Now, like I said, you can set your own prices for all of these. All of these. And, and, before I discuss the probabilities part, we're gonna slide over here real quick. We're gonna go to coupons. You can make your own coupons. You can set a free pack redeem, you can set how many people want to use or not want to, but are allowed to use it. You can set how many cards they get. You can set the code, you can set the limit. You can link it to whatever card pack you want to have it be redeemed from and you can set your own discount percentages. Now, if you go any higher than like 20%, the site will recommend they, uh, Maybe, uh, maybe chill out on that, but typically you would want to save them for special occasions. Maybe, maybe you have a special event coming up that's stream loots focused. Maybe, um, you're not necessarily running a subathon or a donothon, but you are running some type of event that will put a little bit of change in your pocket because you might be running into a little bit of trouble. You never know, but typically that's what this stuff would be saved for, right? But now gonna go back to card packs we're gonna go to probabilities you can set all of these to whatever you're liking if you adjust this this will change if you adjust this this will change and you can even run a probability simulation so you open 10 packs this is what it comes out to this is the shit that you get now you would want to have more common cards than you do uh rare epic cards or you can be like me and try to have a balance of everything. It's all up to you. This is your shit. This is these are your cards. You're the one using service. I'm just spreading the good knowledge. And once again, telling people they have no excuse not to be using this goddamn service. None. Streamer, content creator, video maker, I don't care. This site is for us. Use this instead of relying on Twitch or whatever other uh, service that isn't content creator oriented. That's all I'm saying. That's what I've been saying for ages. Now, Streamloots does have a subscription service. It functions just the same as Twitch. I haven't used the auction function, so I'm not gonna talk about that. 
haven't used the marathon timer i'm not going to talk about that either but we are going to go over to revenue now i'm going to highlight something very very important unlike twitch you don't need a 50 dollar minimum payout to get your coin you just have to make 20 dollars in whatever currency you have set up to acquire a payment you can get paid twice a month i'm gonna say that again unlike twitch you can get paid twice a month once on the 15th and a second time at the end of the given month all right uh i'm not going to toggle these because these contain very important information i'm not going to show on a video there's also an activity feed to show who who did what who got what etc 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 and last but not least what i'm going to go over the most important thing is the application to become a stream loot partner now you have to sell or convince people to buy a total of 700 packs across 20 different people just selling the packs that doesn't mean much this part is the most important part and 10 different people have to play a total of 500 cards not saying each person has to play 500 cards but across at least 10 different people 500 cards have to be played within 40 days and then once all that accomplished you can hit the application button and things that come with being a stream loots partner is this is the most important part in all honesty if you ask me because let's be honest there are a lot of people who do stream who make content as a way to have a little bit of extra coin in their pocket they may want to turn this into a career you never know but this right here this is very very important for a lot of people we need money to live we need money to exist all right cool awesome this is the second most important part because you can create your own card designs so if you happen to be an artist you can make your own card borders you can do a whole lot more as far as really really personalizing your cards because again this is for us the streamer this is streamer oriented this takes us and puts us at the forefront of what the service is for interaction good times and decent revenue right now there's a discord server you can ask any and all stream loops related questions in that server those questions will get answered at some point you can get a hoodie you can get a beta testing program i would really like to know what this is because this sounds awesome you get a little partner panel you can add to your about section and you get access to a whole bunch of other things but again this right here is this this is just better just better off rip and as i said earlier just by using the service alone you the streamer get an 80 20 cut in your favor now with all that being said if you made it to the end of this video i'm going to repeat myself you have no excuse not to be using this service as a content creator as a streamer so now i am going to go edit all of this into a cohesive video that hopefully makes sense to someone or something out there have a good day Thank you for watching and start using the service. Thank you.